Hi viewers, welcome to Landmark Club Sending Basic. Today we are going to see about a load frequency control of single area power system or isolated power system. So here you can see it. So this is a block diagram for a load frequency control of isolated power system. So this system consists of a governor and turbine and then rotating mass and load so otherwise we can call it as a generator load model okay and then it have feedback okay so this is known as a small change in frequency or small change in angular frequency and then this is nothing but small change in power reference Here you can see that the small change in frequency or small change in angular frequency is multiplied with the 1 by r and then we will get actual power and then is going to be process where cover and turbine and then uh, here we need to uh, add this mechanical power small change in mechanical power separated with the load power so finally it going to be processed via uh, generator load model okay so how we can model the same system same uh, isolated power system in matlab okay so for that i am going to use the example here uh, so here you can see yeah so i am going to use this simling model uh, how to create that simling model in matlab okay so we have the data of governor turbine and uh, generator load model so here we need to use uh, transfer function right so for governor turbine and the initial load model so we need to use transfer function so here i'm going to type transfer transfer function so here we need three transfer function right so i'm going to use three transfer function and then here we need to use 1 by 1 plus 0.2s plus 1 so here just you have to type 1 so just you leave it as it is so here you need to type 0 0.2 space 1 and then you will see that transfer function of governor right so this is a transfer function of governor and here you need to provide the data of turbine so here just you have to type 0.5 so here you will get the turbine model and then here you need to provide the data of initial load model or generator load model so here i am going to provide uh, here 10 and then here the value is 0 0.8 so you will get this uh, initial load model so next we need to use summing block so i'm going to type sum and then so here i'm going to use rectangle form of sum block and then here you need to use minus plus so here i'm going to use minus plus and then so here you need to take minus right just you have to use some some having only minus so and then here you can use again so here just you have to rotate this one and connect this so here the gain is 20 and then just you have to provide here right and then here you need to provide a uh, small change in uh, del PL, right? Uh, what's available del PL? So here we have to take uh, the del PL. This here you can see the del PL is 0.2, right? Uh, so here I'm going to use step input and then connect here and then initial value i am going to take point 0.2 final also i am going to take point 0.2 okay so next we need to see the results so for that i am going to use scope 
देखिए आई मीन यूज स्कोप ओके सो नेक्स्ट वीक यू कैन सिमलेट सिमलेट दिस डिटेल यू विल चेक द रिजल्ट्स सो हियर आई एम गोइंग टू सिमलेट दिस वन सो हियर यू कैन सी दैट वी हैव द रिजल्ट राइट सेम रिजल्ट सो दिस इज द फाइनल रिजल्ट फ्रॉम दिस बुक राइट सो दिस इज द रिजल्ट actually we are getting okay the same result we are getting for isolated uh, cop system okay um, here you can see that, uh, that uh, this is nothing but the uh, del f or del omega small change in frequency small deviation in frequency so but here you can see that uh, the deviation is around 0.0.01 right okay so we 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 need to make this uh, small change in deviation equal to zero right so for that we need to use uh, like uh, controller right so here you can see, see here right so we go with the controller concept yeah here you can see that This is actual power, right? Small change, actual small change in power. So before that, we have to use integrator, right? So here they are using integration, right? So here I'm here also I'm going to use controller like uh, I'm going to use PAD controller. Okay, I'm going to use PA controller, not PAD. So I'm going to use P. PID in the time you need to use only PA controller. So here I'm going to take this output response. So connected here, and then here I'm going to use another minus, and then this is going to be connected here, right? So here we have this controller. So we have to check the results. So here I am not tuning this uh, KPK value. Okay. So I am going to use the default value, and I am going to check the results. So when comparing with the previous result, is somewhat um, the error will be reduced. It is uh, is maintained at around uh, minus six into ten power minus three, right? So here I I didn't. Uh, Tune this one. So here I'm going to tune this uh, system. So I'm going to use a tune method. So this is actual response. The dotted line, right? Here you can see that. So this is actual response. So this is one another tuned response. So here you can see the value of k and k i. So k value is equal to zero and k equal nine point nine point seven four seven. So I'm going to update this bug. Okay, and then I'm going to test the result. So now we can see that is somewhat is goes to the zero level, right? So further, I'm going to tune this one. So now I'm going to update this one, and also I'm going to increase the. The simulation time we put a hundred. Okay, next you have to check the results. Now you can see that after twenty seconds, right, it comes to zero, right. So here you can see that after twenty seconds, it reaches to zero. So same result we are 
getting the tuned value of k equal to 1.9 okay and then we have to check what's the value of k they are given in the book right k only they are providing 7 right so here i am going to use 7 and then you have to check the result We are getting the the response having uh, the main it uh, reached to steady state value to zero at uh, around uh, uh, 18 seconds right so you can further adjust the value right and also you will get smooth response so here i am going to show you so here you can see that so here you can change the response uh, response time and the transient behavior and then you can adjust the adjust the value of kpka and then you can make the response equal to zero okay uh, here this is not a single area system there is no connection with the other areas so we have only one generator and load and then you have cow, uh, governor and turbine okay so so these are some uh, load frequency control of single area power system or isolated power system in matlab so thanks for watching your videos kindly subscribe your channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye